and Christmas. So this is the wall we are going to be working with and to elevate this wall we are going in with a mirror because it's a tiny space and this mirror is acting like a wall art to reflect light and bring more light to this space. And if you are struggling with a small entryway decorating idea, this first part of the video is for you. And we are going to go in with a little entryway table or console table, whatever you want to call it as well. What a feeling. Hello guys and welcome to Dede's Home Interior. My name is Dede. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do home decor, inspiration and ideas and some organization. I also strive to show you how to create those homes that look way more high-end and luxurious than they actually are. If this is something you are interested in, please sit back, relax, stay tuned and keep on watching. So let it come. So for today's video, we are decorating two major spaces in the home. We are creating some entryway decorating ideas and also decorating our living room. But before we start, I wanted to show you guys this quick DIY that we're going to use in both spaces to decorate them and create some home decorating ideas for Christmas 2024. Using some Dollar Tree bowls and spray paint from Walmart, I will be creating a marble effect on the bottom bowl. You're going to see and understand it in just a minute. This is a common DIY that we see on social media and I love it so much because it has changed the look on so many of my affordable bowls and it's an amazing DIY that gives a luxury marble effect on anything that you would like to create a marble effect on. That's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a the next part of our Christmas DIY for today's decorating ideas would be this wet foam that I got from Walmart as well. So how this foam works is you steep it in water and it absorbs water and it creates a better effect when you are putting in your flower branches in them. So you would see how the water slowly absorbs the foam and then you would see in a minute how I am using this foam to create today's DIY for our Christmas decorating ideas. So because the other bowl was so small, the foam wasn't getting absorbed properly and so I decided to push it and make it go manually. And yes, this is what it's supposed to look like after it has absorbed water and you will see how easy it's going to be for me to use it and create our today's DIY. What I'm doing right now is just layering um, our foam into the bowl that is going to receive our Christmas branches and I am going in with a snowflake Christmas branch that I got from Ross and so I would use that in this bowl to set the base and then I will start adding flowers or other branches around it so stay tuned and watch as i create this luxury looking christmas flower diy on a budget wonders will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true the love i live the dream i know this christmas i only want to be close to you If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you love my channel enough to subscribe and come back for more. If you're an OG on this channel, oh my goodness, you know I heart you so much. You guys know we've grown a lot and I just want to say thank you. Without you, you, we will not be here. And I really want to say thank you all so much for always coming back for more. I really do appreciate you. 
this year's Christmas is going to be very slow for me because I am going to be traveling out of the country. And so I will not be very active for Christmas. But whatever Christmas content I bring for you, I hope you appreciate it and love every bit of it. And I hope you are able to get inspired and learn something. And if you get any kind of inspiration from this video, please do not hesitate to share this video with a friend or family member to inspire them to DIY and make over their space today. Oh, whatever we do. So this is our luxury looking flower bowl centerpiece. I used it on our coffee table and I am so obsessed with how it looks. I was so impressed just being someone who is not that great DIY girl. But look, on a budget, I would take this anytime. Let me know your thoughts about this DIY flower centerpiece and guys as we get ready to go back to the entryway so i can show you all the entryway decorating ideas we have for christmas i am so excited to just show you guys this little tour of how i use the centerpiece to elevate my living room so guys stay tuned as we get ready to go and revamp the entryway on some amazing decorating ideas if you're struggling to decorate your console table I'm going to take you with me. You would let me know what you think about the console table styling. I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. So let's get going. Our first entryway decorating idea is a silver glam. I was just feeling everything glamorous and silvery in this space. It was all white, snowy. Look at these cute Christmas trees. I got these Christmas trees a while ago from Ross. I've never been able to find it again, but I love it so much. And of course, the nativity set is the star of the show. I love to have a nativity set during Christmas because it reminds me of the purpose for Christmas and the reason for Christmas. So this is the first easy one. It is super easy and straightforward and I love it. Let me know your thoughts. We have others and I would want you to tell me which of the decorating ideas for this Christmas is your favorite. So stay tuned as we get ready to show style number two. So hard to believe that I will never fully understand. So for style number two, we are going to be a little more elaborate and are going to do a lot more than we did on the first one. So again, I'm bringing some texture, some beautiful Christmas trees. I added some gold to this one to just create that, you know, that other locks effect for the gold. And I was just totally in love with these beautiful reindeers. And again, a nativity set, which reminds me of the reason for Christmas. And I love this set so much. This is bigger than the other set. It sings, you know, it just lightens up the space. I love, love, love this setup as well. I am still not sure if I love this one over the first one. Actually, I might because it has some gold and it has a lot more for Christmas than the previous one. The other one was very basic. But let me know between these two which is your favorite as we get ready to go to the third style for Christmas entryway decorating items. Go 
So here is style number three. I brought in some candles, a bigger reindeer, a beautiful gold centerpiece, and a vase with some Christmas branches. I would love to know what you think about this style. Let me know if you prefer this over the first two. Finally, we are using our centerpiece in the entryway for style number four. Let me know what you think about this one. I brought some bells, of course, our DIY vase. I am so in love with this vase. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I brought the angel wings and of course the bell, like I said. I totally love how this came together. It looks pretty simple, but very impactful and beautiful. Please let me know below if you prefer this over the first three styles that have been shown so far. So for style number five, this is the same small entryway wall that has been painted black with a starburst mirror hanging on the wall. I love how beautiful it is. I created an accent wall. I repainted the space. I just made it look so beautiful. I wanted an accent wall, but I didn't want to go out of my comfort zone. Black is still in my comfort zone. I didn't want to go with colors that I would not be able to style um the way i want so yep if you've struggled with a black leaning christmas let's figure that out today i cannot wait to show you guys what we did we're using an accent wall for black christmas right <laughs> so anyway i am setting up the base with this beautiful fluffy runner I love this runner so much. It's so beautiful and it's just meant to receive all the Christmas decor we're going to be doing for today's video. And that is specifically for style number five and onward. So let me know your thoughts. Stay tuned if you would try a black accent wall and still decorate for Christmas on that area. I would love to know your thoughts. If you're a fan of an accent wall, if you're a fan of black, let's know down below.
For style number six, this is what we finally have on our black accent wall. Let me know if this is something you would love to try. I'm so excited. And then I decided to go out with um, a different wall art. This wall art, I needed to take it to another space. And then I wanted to show you guys what I did with the entryway or the black wall with the new wall art that I brought. I would love to know which of them is your favorite. If you prefer the Starburst one, or do you think this wall art works better with this space? Let me know your thoughts. I can't wait for you guys to see how it looks. So this is what it looks like with the new wall art. I actually love this look better, but you never know. Let me know what you think about the look. It's not all about me. It's about us all sticking together and you know trying to get this space a lot better than it already is especially on a budget making our christmas memories i've been working so much lately i can barely find the time to sleep yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Good times with you Baby, this 